How to use LastPass Password Manager, LastPass Tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with LastPass. LastPass is a password management tool. It is an amazing tool to use if you're someone like me and you are constantly forgetting your passwords as well. Now, LastPass has different plans, including a personal plan as well as a business plan. Now, they have a free version for their personal plan, which allows you to save unlimited number of passwords. However, you can only create one user account on this. You can access it on one device type only. So if you're using it for your laptop, it won't be able to sync up to your phone. However, it allows you to save and autofill passwords. You have one-to-one -one sharing and passwordless logins, as well as a security dashboard and dark web monitoring. Now, other than that, they have a premium version, which allows you to access across all devices for only $3 per month. And then you also have one-to-many sharing, advanced multi-factor options, emergency access, and personal customer support. And then you have a families version as well. Now, if you are a corporation or a small business, they also have business plans available for either teams or businesses. This includes 50 users or less on their team's plan for only $4 per month, as well as a private wealth for every user. Now, let's get into the actual usability of LastPass. So we're going to head on over to lastpass.com and click on personal over here. And we are going to click on get LastPass for free on the top right. Now, once you've done that, you are going to use your email and then create a master password. So I will go on ahead and insert my email like this. And then after that, I have to create a master password for my LastPass account. Now, this is going to be your requirement. It can't be your email. It has to have one special character, one uppercase, lowercase number, and it needs to be at least 12 characters long. So I am going to create my password over here. Now you guys can see once this has been created, it will show you your requirements, whether they have been met or not. Now you guys can see the strength meter needs to be at maximum. So it might want you to build something that is extremely creative because it is going to be serving as your one and all password. Now below that, you have a randomly generated master password, but I don't, you know, I don't want to use that, but you can use one of their randomly generated passwords as well. Now, once you've done that, you have to confirm your master password because this is going to be the password of all passwords. So you need to make sure that you have remembered this. If you don't, just write it down somewhere for the time being until you can remember this all in one password. And below that, you have a simple reminder option. And once you have completed that, you can click on sign up. It's free over here to get started. Now, once you have done that, you are going to click on install LastPass to get the LastPass extension. So once we have done that, we are going to click on add to Chrome and click on add extension. Now on the top right, you have your puzzle icon. And in a couple of seconds, once your extension has been downloaded, you will find it under this puzzle icon or this extensions icon, and you can pin it directly into your toolbar so you can easily access it wherever you go. So let's wait for this to be completed. And now that LastPass has been downloaded, you will see you will be logged in. And this will open up your dashboard on LastPass as well. Now you have a extension for the purposes of an easy access. So if I just click on this and I have a easy access and then I have my LastPass vault over here as well. Now on the left, you have a all items section and you can click on import many passwords at once. And you can go on ahead and import your passwords from another password manager or from your own web browser as well. Now, let's say you have written down your notes yourself. You can just click on other and you can create a password file and import them as a CSV. Now, on the left, you have your password section and you can go on ahead and click on add items one by one. And let's say this is going to be a password. So let's say this is going to be for Pinterest com and my name is janet and the folder i can create folders to organize my passwords as well this is going to be in my socials folder like this and then once i do i can click on the configuration and i can enter my username for that particular password 
And then after that, we can click on advanced settings and we have require master password reprompt auto login and autofill. So let's say I want to auto login with Pinterest so I can enable that. And I don't want to require my master password to be reprompted into my web browser for me to access. However, if you have a bank account, if you have any financial tools that you are using, if you have super important, you know, social media accounts that you want to make sure cannot be accessed by anyone else, you can always check this option to require the master password reprompt. What this will do is that even if you have already logged on to the last pass password manager, it will ask you to re-add your password of LastPass. So after you re-add that password, it will autofill your password. So let's say this is our password on Pinterest. So I can enter that over here and now I can click on save. Now, whenever I am logging into Pinterest, if I go into Pinterest over here, I already have logged in, but if I go into Pinterest directly on the top right, LastPass will show me that I have login information that is relevant to this website. This could be the login information, this could also be any address information, bank or card info that might be relevant to your particular website that you have opened up in your browser. Now, other than that, in your direct shortcut browser or the shortcut of LastPass, you have a generator, which is a password generator you can use, and it can generate any length of a password from 1 to 99 characters. And you guys can see, you can just click on the regeneration tool to regenerate different types of passwords. Below that, you also have alerts, so you can click on protect yourself to enable multi-factor authentication to make sure that your passwords are always safe. And then you have your account info where you can go on ahead and add more info to your account. Now, other than our basic password, which we have inserted, we can go into the notes section and we can start creating notes as well. So notes can be helpful in just, you know, writing down anything. Let's say you have a security key for some platform. Let's say you have a question that you had created for security purposes. You can write those down in notes. And then you have the addresses section where you can input your default addresses and any type of address you are using for shipping, payments, or billing. Below that you have payment cards you can insert and all of it is very simple. You can click on the bottom right plus icon to insert your relevant information. And then you have bank accounts that you can also use. Below that you have your security dashboard where you can go on ahead and add dark web monitoring so your wallet items can be monitored and you can easily and safely browse the dark web. And then you also have a premium feature which is called emergency access where you can add a emergency access contact where they are able to access your account in the case where you lose your password or lose access to your last pass password manager. Below that you have your account settings and then advanced options as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with LastPass. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.